All right, g'day guys, Andrew Dwight. Hey, today we're gonna to talk about pitching roofs in. We've got, as you can see here, we've got a roof that's at a different height. It lines up with a with a hip over here. And uh, this particular roof has been done all in one by pushing and pulling a face up. However, in some cases, you might not have the time to figure out the math exactly, and you just need to get another roof to pitch in. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So basically, if I delete this roof here, uh, erase it and I'll sh what I did to get these two roofs at a separate height is I actually selected the two faces and then I went roof uh, create roof choose a picture of the roof and essentially what it does is it will create that roof for me so I go submit and it will go and put in all the hips the overhangs and everything according to what I chose and there you go you can see it's got the roof however the reason why that worked is, I'll just hide that, is because the distance that I came up was the right different distance so that the roofs planed according to where the roofs end. And that does take a little bit of math work to do and a little bit of working out. If you don't have the time to do that, can you use two roofs to pitch into one? Well, the answer is yes, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I've done here, I've created a scene at the top that turns my hips off, so we can actually see the raw geometry of the roof. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rectangle tool from inside of SketchUp, and you can see that that's actually trying to line up with the roof. So I'm going to click my up arrow button, and I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to create a, a rectangle. Okay, and I want a roof to come out of here. There is another way that you can go to the roof. There's a lot of existing roof tools inside of uh, videos to show you how to to do this, but I'm showing you how to do two different roofs to pitch into one. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to select this face and I'm going to go to my roof tool again. And by default, the roof tool will always create a hip roof because from there you will edit it to do as you please. So I'm going to go submit and it's created my roof. And you can see that that's not what I wanted. I actually want this roof to key over into here. So if we look at it, if I went, this was 90 degrees vertical, it'd be a gable. So I'm going to actually right click the roof, go roof, edit roof. Oops, I should have actually said add gable. So let's get out of here, sorry, right click, roof, add gable. Okay, and you'll notice, let's have a look, when I hover over different sections, it goes darker red. So I want my roof to be from here, uh, to, to over key or my gable to be from here. But I don't want my gable to be typically, typically a gable be 90 degrees and I'll go submit. And you'll notice that I have a gable. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to go right click, roof, add gable or edit pitch. So I'm going to add gable select this one here and I'm going to over key it by the distance so this roof here is 90 degrees sorry this roof here is 30 degrees and if I went 90 degrees I'd have a gable however I need to go 90 plus the difference between 30 and 90 so it's 60 degrees and I will explain that more in a second uh, so I've got 90 degrees here I need to go plus 60 degrees so it's 150 90 plus uh, 60 degrees and go submit and bang I have my roof pitching in very very quickly now I need to get out of my tool so I click spacebar and I'm going to say well say I wanted to line up with this gable here bang I have it lining up with the gable now I will get on to explaining why I went over 150 in case you're not sure I'm going to delete that face and there's one other thing that you'll notice it could be a problem. You don't want this line running through in your plans. So how do you deal with it? So what I'm doing, I'm selecting the roof, I'm triple clicking the roof, and I'm going to hide this line. So I need to triple click until everything's highlighted. I'm going to select this line, I'm going to right click and hide. I actually, if I were you, I'd set up a keyboard shortcut. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go and draw this line back in from here, and I'm going to do the same from from down the bottom here and then when I'm looking at in my elevations I will have uh, no line there but this roof here still has a line so I need to do the same triple click inside of this roof hide this line so keyboard shortcut is H and now when I put my roof on I have a seamless line I might want to line up my materials that is in another video but it's reasonably simple to do if I wanted to cheat I could simply just move uh, until my materials lined up perfectly. Uh, 
let's have a look zoom in a touch get used to zooming in because it's really important right and my materials are lining up if I went to my elevation see which elevation this is here okay got it first go I'll just hide my landscaping here and now you can see that in my elevation views it actually works the way that we would expect to see it in plan view so if you're using SketchUp I do believe that you should be using layout uh, to create your construction drawings anyway let's see if we can explain this a little bit more so I've got some simple geometry here I'm just going to delete this line here and I'm going to try and explain this a little bit better I'm going to put a line out here so this is a group below here so this line here we're going to say our existing roof is 30 degrees so Q here and you'll notice down the bottom right hand corner here you'll see my angles so if I go up 30 degrees I'm going to type in 3 0 enter I now have a 30 degree pitch roof okay and this is flat so it's 0 0 0 I'm going to go I'm using Q as a keyboard shortcut and if I go up 90 degrees which would be a gable you'll see down the bottom right hand side there that we have 90 degrees that is a gable so the reason why we're adding 90 degrees is to have it from flat to perpendicular and from perpendicular I need to over key it to fit the 30 degree roof and this will explain it for you you can notice now in the bottom right hand corner I've got 150 degrees and that's the reason why I typed in 150 degrees uh, with my um, when I went to the gable there so I hope that helps you figure out the geometry it's reasonably straightforward and I'm sure if you've drafted before you would have an understanding of the principle Guys, if you need any more information on roofing, PlusBank is very powerful. There is not much it can't do. Uh, and it's very, very quick, as you can see. So, and, and remember that also when you're doing a PlusBank roof, roof you've, you've drawn it once, but you can go back and you can edit the roof at any time. So if I just said I want to edit this roof and I want to change it back to 22 and a half degrees, or if you're working on ratios, you would select uh, a pitch ratio. I'm going to go back. I'm going to change this roof to 22.5 degrees and go submit give it a second there we go I've changed the pitch of the roof now obviously when I change the pitch of the roof this roof here is going to be incorrect as well so I would need to do the same thing I need to change my gable change the pitch of the roof in exactly the same method give it a try guys it would be interesting to see how you go uh, if you like the video push like if you need more uh, or you've got more questions with roofing, by all means write in a question there and we'll get to that as soon as we possibly can. Cheers.